Hello guys and welcome back for more Let's Play Pokemon Platinum. In the last episode we took care of the rematch with Volkner and Gardena. In this episode I've already taken a peek because it's the next day and we are going to be taking care of Maylene and Byron. And in the last episode my question of the day is if I were to do a Nuzlocke which game would you like to see? And uh, my personal preference for that would probably be Pokemon Black since it's the next in the series. Since I'm doing Leaf Green next and that's going to be a random lock. I've already done Heart Gold and I've done Emerald on my channel so far. So, uh, with those done, my next uh, logical conclusion, since um, this is Platinum, would be to do Black or White. And then Black 2 or White 2. And then hope by then an emulator comes out for the 3DS so I can do X and Y. And uh, my question of the day for today would be, would you like to see a monotype run, and what type would you like to see, and uh, something that I couldn't fit in the layout, and which game would you like to see it in? Now, I'm partial to any type. My favorite is Steel. The most common one for monotype runs, I think, is Water, because there's so many different ones you can use. Uh, basically, what would happen in a monotype run is I would have a team of six Pokémon, I would take the water types, assign them a number, and pick them out of a random number generator and start with six of them. And every time I capture a Pokemon on a route, I swap it for a new water type, basically, until I run out of water types. In which case, after that, I start back at the beginning and get spares of my current ones, and I'll do a Nuzlocke like that. A Nuzlocke mono, a mono lock, I think I'll call it. It'll be just like a regular Nuzlocke, except I'll be using one type and swapping it out with a random number generator, kind of like an egg lock. Anyway, um... I forgot to start my timer, so let's go ahead and start the timer now, and I've already got Gardevoir first at my party, and Jesus Christ, Wake lives here, this is the third day in a row. Anyway, I think it's okay if I were to keep losing to the same trainer, but the only that person tells me how much my Pokemon have I have changed. Okay, basically what you're telling me right here is, you know you're going to lose to me. Okay, here we go. Maylene! With your stupid- oh god, I tapped my microphone. With your stupid nose breather. That's the bad thing about having my microphone right where it is. My hand pops against the pot filter a lot. Anyway, leading with Hitmon top. The fastest of the Mons, I believe. Not the Mons, the Hitmons. Go ahead with Intimidate, but I don't care about that one bit. Fake out, huh? Um, probably have payback, so I'm going to make sure I can one-shot you with Calm Mind. Arrow Ace, huh? How much will that do? From 156 to... Oh, wow, almost done. Fuck it, I'm going for another Calm Mind. One more Calm Mind and then I'll heal. There we are. Now we get our first of our two heals, and now we have Gardevoir as the rampaging monster that will take care of her. Uh, there we are. Uh, let me get some Mountain Dew. Victory Mountain Dew already. Three Calm Minds up. She won't be able to stand. That was the sound of Victory Mountain Dew with ice. I know I'm celebrating prematurely, and she's probably going to have something that's going to outspeed me and one-shot me, but, yep, here's her Breloom. Probably going to mock punch me. And if it uses Spore, I'll be quite annoyed, but it doesn't matter, considering Breloom is unfortunately slow, like most fighting types. Bye-bye. Thank goodness this isn't uh, the generation where Min Xiao is in, because Min Xiao would outspeed me, no matter what level it is. What's next? Machamp! Flex those muscles! And now die. What's odd is I actually have a Machamp in my Leaf Green uh, random lock that I'm doing as a test. He was one of the starters. Uh, for the random lock, what I'm going to do is I'm going to randomize it and then only take a look at the um, the uh, starters. So that way I can tell you guys what they are. And if they're unusable starters like Caterpie, Weedle, Magikarp, I'm just going to re-randomize. Dream Eater. That would be great if I let you learn Hypnosis at level 60, so... Give up on Dream Eater. I can hard scale it anyway. Lucario is next. Uh, Lucario, the one who I might not be able to Oko, and who will probably outspeed me. With extreme speed! My face! Alright, what's uh, from 146 to 77? Hmm. 146 to 77. If it lives this, I could potentially KO it with an. Oh, never mind. Critical hit! I was gonna say I could potentially survive another extreme speed and KO him. What's next? Ah, uh, Metacham, the other Pokemon that can resist me because I don't have Shadow Ball. And Metacham actually has good special defense and a great moveset. So, thank God you can't Mega right now. And. Wow, two unnecessary crits. The first of the Gym Leader rematches where I did not need to go back to heal. 
I am much too strong indeed. I love fighting here. Buck's grandpa cooks for us and it's all delicious! We can eat all we want! Is that all you care about? Burn too many carbs eating here. Alright, medicine. Super potion. Alright, so next is Byron using steel types, which means I can either outsteal him, <laughs> which I wouldn't want to do, or I could go with fighting and fire. Unfortunately, all of his Pokemon are going to have Earthquake. Fantastic. Faced many a challenger at my gym. I trained on Iron Island while contemplating my worth for days. Wow, that seems like you have a self-confidence issue. Alright, here we go. See if I can get rid of this other rematch and actually have the rematches done before I'm halfway through the episode. So yeah, basically the way I'm going to randomize it is I'm going to ask you guys first... Ooh, Skarmory. I'm going to ask you guys first what do you want me to randomize. I'm definitely going to randomize the Pokemon I can find, put them in catch em all mode, no legendaries, and no early game Oka moves like Sonic Boom and Explosion and all that fun stuff. I'm going to have specific clauses as well, so go ahead and start Flare Blitzing these guys. But yeah, um, basically um, what I don't know is whether or not I'm going to randomize the movesets, randomize the TMs, and randomize TM compatibility and abilities. And wow, you lived. Oh crap, you're stealthing. And you're going to go ahead and heal here. Mew. How much will that do? That was a crit. Wow. I forgot how bulky Skarmory is. But yeah, I don't know yet in my randomizer if I'm going to randomize movesets, TMs, TM compatibility, and Pokemon abilities. Because I'm not entirely sure yet. I don't want to randomize abilities. And I kind of don't want to randomize movesets, but I do kind of want to randomize TM compatibility. Unfortunately, that usually leaves me with getting ridiculous combinations. But I can close combat him in the face, considering quad weak. I believe. I believe he's rock steel. One shot, one shot. Oh, get one shot with a crit. Bastiodon, you're done. Why is that not his main? What's he got as his main? Steelix. Agron. Hi. You're his main. Please, close combat, please. I don't want Rafiki to get KO'd again. Don't be Glass Cannon. Or if you are Glass Cannon, please out cannon the defense. Oh, thank you. <laughs> now I'm going to get KO'd to anything remotely resembling a tackle. Alright. Agron was probably his uh, bulkiest defensive monster, so... Quad weakness helped me there. Uh, actually, Magnezone is probably his best defensive monster. I have one. I know what its defense is like. Without the quad weakness, it'll probably live this and kill me with Thunderbolt. Or not. <laughs> I underestimate Rafiki's extreme power. But yeah, I'll probably randomize it and get the starters. And then tell you guys the starters and then ask you guys the rest of the rules you want for the randomizer. Then when I randomize it again, I'll just keep the starters set. Ah, Steelix. Die, please. Steelix has got better defense than anything on his team. Even, well, actually, Agron actually has better defense, but not quad weak. And now Rafiki's dead because he knows Earthquake. Or you were a dumbass and you Sandstorm. Bye-bye. Uh, victory, Melted Ice. He's slightly like Mountain Dew. Uh, a Flare Blitz. A Rock Slide, another Flare Blitz, and four, five close combats. And Byron has been defeated! That makes two gym leaders I did not have to heal um, in between. That's awesome. Now, I believe the only one I have yet to fight is the first gym leader, whoever the hell that is. This is Platinum, right? So, Rourke. I haven't fought Rourke yet. Yeah, I think it's just Rourke, I haven't f uh, Rourke and Fantina, which I believe are tomorrow. So I'll come back here tomorrow and face them, but for now I'm going to quickly heal, and I'm going to do a little research to see where I have to go next. Whee! Alright, we are back from healing, and I have a couple of things I could do now. I'll go into my fly menu. I can go back to Mount Stark now and try to capture Heatran. He's level 50, but annoying as hell to capture. Uh, what else? I could go to Cantilave City and start the Cresselia event. If I cheat an event Regigigas into my game, I could try to go after the Reggie Trio. Uh, but what I could do now is I can go down to the Pal Park where Oak is at, even though I can't access it yet, 
And then from there, I can meet Oak in Eterna City, where he will give me the upgrade, and the legendary birds will start, start to roam. After that, I can go to Candelave City and get Cresselia to roam, then I have all four roaming legendaries, and then after that, I think I'll end the episode. And then head over to Stark Mountain in the next episode and capture uh, Heatran first before any of them. I'll probably use my Master Ball and Cresselia, and then hunt down tirelessly um, the legendary birds. Once I have that done... I'll explore Mount Coronet for the um, the Lustrous and the uh, Adamant Orb, I believe they are. And then I can talk to the lady in um, Celestic, which will cause Diagon Palkia to spawn its spill pillar, Spear Pillar. And then I can start cheating the events into my game so I can go after the event Pokemon. So, <gasps> without further ado, let us go to Sand Gem Town. Flyus Staravia, they can barely hold my body weight. Oh uh, no! Oof! That damn Staravia! Uh, what do you have to say for yourself, Dawn? Are you acquainted with Bebe? Lives in Heartthorn City? Uh, yes, I have paid Bebe a visit, and, uh, Bebe is Bay. Not really, but still! Anyway, we're going to go down here, and we are going to skip all the battles, because these guys are ridiculously low level. You're supposed to come here earlier to level up. But, I never felt the need. Especially with the VS Seeker. Alright, so now with this, I'm going to attempt to evade these peoples, and that takes care of the first one. Let's go ahead and try to get through here as fast as possible. Route 220. Oh, fantastic. These guys are going to be difficult here! I don't particularly care for these items, but I'll get, I'll get as many of them as I can without actually having to work. Here's a Max Repel. I believe there's more items down there, but this is the way we have to go. I haven't been this way in a while. Oh, come on. I hate these swimmers. Swimmers. Aha! Get a Carbos here. Don't care. Get past this guy. Oh, God. I'm not going to be able to sneak past these people. Nope, I'm not. Oh, fantastic. I'm going to keep this battle, and I'm just going to speed it up, because these guys are literally worthless, as you can see. Level 35 Tentacruel. Uh, by the way, you're dead. Yay! That was fast. It wouldn't have been worth my effort to cut that out. Route 221. I believe there's actually some decent items here. But you have to be willing to get them, and I know one of them at least requires you to fight a battle. That's a fisherman there. I... He either gives you the good or super rod, or he battles you, and I can't remember. Oh god, damn repels, please. I'm on a tight schedule to try to get these Pokemon to appear. That's a ranger. Yep, there's an item here. Exazer! That's actually pretty cool. I wonder who can learn that. I doubt anyone can. Let's see. Exazer. Yep, no one. Oh god damn it, I'm gonna have to fight this person. I'll keep this in as well. I'll make it demonstrate. Sure, why not? Star Raptor, level 35. Guess what? You're dead. Bye bye! Giraffe Rig! Guess what? You're not dead yet. No, you're dead. No, you're not. Now you're dead. Thank you. Wow, you survived a rock slide from something 30 levels higher than you. Holy crap. I must say, I'm actually impressed. Anyway, pal part time. Hi, Professor Oak! Oh, Butters, this is the pal park. Pokemon brought round country. Kanto, Hoenn, quickly catch. Good to see you come for a visit. Uh, train, trainer counter. Tracks, radars, rankings. Plan to visit Eterna City. And that's where we're going to meet you. Uh, now that that's done, let's go ahead and fly to Eterna City. Hooray, speed up function for making this easier! Heal! Done healing! Now, I don't know where he is, so I'm going to check in here, because it makes sense that he... Uh, does Super Slave not have cut? Oh, fantastic. I have to bring Buddy out of the PC. Fantastic. Alright, I'm hoping this is where Oak is, otherwise I'll have just wasted my time here. Yay, Buddy who hasn't seen screen time in years! I don't think he's in Galactic's HQ. 
But I might as well check. Otherwise, he's either here or he's at the statue. I don't care about. I don't care about repel. Come on. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. All right, he's not here. I will meet you guys back outside when I find him. Yay! There he is. Finally found him. Let me go ahead and show you guys where he was. He was in this house down here. Nice and out of the way, just like Professor Oak. Ah, uh, how's your Pokemon coming along? Okay, kind of blah, blah, blah. Ah, uh, yes, Quaint and Kanto, something be interesting, better use. Upgrade, need it for evolving Porygon into Porygon 2 through trade. Not that I care. Incidentally, um, into a different topic, you've been sighting some very rare Pokemon, legendary birds, Articona, or Taptos, Moltres, and spot various, lo various locations in Sinnoh, no less. Why, you may be lucky enough to see them in your journey. Yay! Now that they are roaming around, I'm going to go ahead and stop my timer, because it's almost done. And I will meet you guys in Cantalave City, where we can start the Cresselia quest line. Yay! Oh god, all this talking. I didn't mean to use the fog. Fly me! Even though you can't support my body weight. Wee! Ha! I believe it's up here. Nope, it's the, um... It's one of the houses near the, uh, the water. I still love this music so much. I think it's this one? No, you're not it. No, you can't interview me. No interviews! Hi. Little boy's thrashing about in his sleep. Appears to be in torment. He's muttering something dark. Dark something is watching me. Never thought a boy would fall into this endless nightmare. It's happened to the passing can of life. There were people who never woke up from their nightmares. That is, until they were woken using something called the Lunar Wing. My husband went to find the Lunar Wing on Full Moon Island, but he failed. Does it take a trainer to do that? He feels so, so frustrated. Okay, I'll go to Full Moon Isle and save your goddamn son. Yes, I am. Only you can awaken my son from his awful nightmare. Anchors away! Alright, let's go nice and slow. I get seasick. Ugh. Good, you're going nice and slow. I don't like getting seasick. Uh, I can't wait until we're on the open sea when you can just cruise along. <laughs> oh no! Not the seasick! Dickhead! Oh, that's how you treat the person trying to save your fucking son. Ugh. Oh, God damn it. Hi. Hi, Chrysalia. No! No, where are you going? Hooray for Lunar Wing! That was the easiest quest ever! Let's go out. Let's go ahead and save this goddamn s stupid person who doesn't know how to save themselves from an endless nightmare like Sceptile. Uh, sparkle, that's a Lunar Wing. I will wake my summon up from his nightmare. Really? Just have Sceptile do it. Sceptile knows how... <laughs> goddamn seasickness. I will save you! Maybe your wife will go with me, considering I'm useful. The Lunar Wing began to glow, and he became untroubled and serene, and he woke up, and all the things! Hi, your wife, your wife has agreed to leave, me, leave you for me. Thank you, we'll never forget you. Regain my spirits, come with me later. Meow. Are you going to give me a reward? Apparently not. I'm not going to even talk to the kid. He's just going to say what a nightmare it was. No, I don't want to set sail anywhere. I want a reward. That's what I get for saving someone's son. I don't get a reward. Seeing him alive isn't reward enough. Oh, no. Anyway, I'm going to end the episode off there. In the next episode, we're going to hopefully fight the last two gym leader rematches and head toward Heatran. If you guys liked the video, please hit that like button for me. Make sure to leave me a comment, guys, and I'll see you guys next time for the next episode of Let's Play Pokemon Platinum. See you guys later.